Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Season 4, Episode 15 of the Ryan Rage Career Universe, where we are 5 days removed from Payback, where Ryan Rage attained his WWE Championship against Randy Orton and the rest of the authority defeated Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose in a 2 on 1 handicap match. Talking of which, Roman Reigns is beating the hell out of Jeff Hardy. I wonder what the hell is this all about? Dean Ambrose giving it to all truth. It's Triple H, the man that eliminated Roman Reigns from the handicap match at Payback and made Rollins' job to get out of the match a little easier. You know, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns wanted to beat the hell out of Seth Rollins up hey back. I guess you're all wondering what I'm doing out here. Well, exactly one week ago I took out Shane McMahon and I'm here to explain why. I took Shane out because he was in the way of the authority. He kept booking me in random ass matches and interfering with my booking. I did what was best for business by taking him out. Now there is no one left to keep giving Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns what they want. From now on, the authority will be the only ones with authority. Extreme Rules said Warren's declared war against the two of us. And sadly for you, you are a part of this war. But seeming that you are a businessman now, let's talk business. If you don't give us exactly what we want, we will take out this entire locker room. Which brings me to what we want. You see, at Payback the two of us barely got our hands on Warrens, but the couple of punches we got in only made us hungry for more. At SummerSlam, we want Warrens again, but this time we want him in a match where he can't be protected. We wanted a NATO tag match with a no disqualification stipulation. And Rollins can only have one partner. Until we get what we want, we are going to continue to take out superstars. Have you two been paying any attention to what I just said? Shane McMahon is gone. The two of you might as well leave as well. Do what you have to do. You ain't getting another match from me. Fine, have it your way then. But don't say we didn't warn you. A couple of weeks ago, I came out here and admitted that last year Ryan Rage took everything I had from me. And believe it or not, five days ago, he took another thing from me. He took the money in the bank briefcase from me. Again. I'll admit, I thought I had him all figured out. But he did things in that TLC match I've never seen anyone done before. But that doesn't mean I can't beat him. I am the Viper, the Apex Predator, the Legend Killer. And I've done all there is to do in this company. It seems I only have one weakness, and that is TLC matches. That is why Rage wanted to make our match a TLC match. He knew it was the only way he could beat me. So Rage, I'm issuing the challenge to you. You and me one more time, at SummerSlam. This time, in a normal match. Your WWE Champion is now what? Will Ryan Rage have to say about that challenge just issued by Randy Orton? I don't know how you actually thought you had a shot against me at Payback, man. Since winning this championship, I have never been pinned or submitted. I made the submission specialist Daniel Bryan tap out and I slayed the beast. You were nothing but a guaranteed win for me, no matter the stipulation of the match. Which brings me to your challenge. You see, once again, the power is in my hands and I will give you the match you requested. But you know me Randy, it won't come for free. Last year I made it my mission to take everything you have from you and that mission has not been fulfilled just yet. Although you have no hardware left, there is one last thing I'd like to take from you, and that is your finisher, the legendary RKO. 
I'm sick and tired of people referring to my TKO as a lucky RKO. I'll give you a one on one match, but if I beat you again, you can never use the RKO ever again. You just make the biggest mistake of your life. I accept your condition and I'll see you and your TKO at SummerSlam. Wow, a huge match just made official for SummerSlam. Ryan Rage will defend his WWE Championship against the Viper one more time. But Randy Orton has to put his RKO on the line. If he loses the match, he can never use the RKO again. But up next is the number one containers match for the Intercontinental Championship. Buzz will go head to head with this man, Paragon J. Pierce. And the winner will face Edge at SummerSlam for the Intercontinental Championship. I've also just received word that Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose has taken out four more superstars backstage. We know what they want. They want Seth Rollins in an equal play field. They want Rollins in a tornado tag match at SummerSlam. And Triple H refused to give them that match. But Seth Rollins can't hide forever. We have seen him on SmackDown once since he betrayed the Shield. Forearm draped across the middle rope and down. Top rope, here we go. From the heavens, Whoa, look out! Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Under the ropes and back into the ring. Will this be enough? Gets the shoulder up after one. He's not even close to being done yet. Able to evade. Close line. What impact. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Launching. Oh, man, a diving neck breaker. Can you believe this? I love it. Oh, foot just stomping down. producing some overwhelming offense. We are looking at an unyielding attack from him. Buzz has nowhere to go and decides to give up and tap out, which means Paragon J. Pierce is the winner of the Intercontinental Championship number one contenders match and will go to SummerSlam to face Edge for the Intercontinental Championship. Will this man win his first championship at SummerSlam? We'll have to wait and see. Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns now beating the hell out of Buzz. They know Buzz is a member of the authority. And if there's one way to convince Triple H to give them their match, it's to beat up a member of the authority. Stop right there. 
I'll give you your stupid match, but you're gonna regret this, because the man that will be teaming with Seth Rollins at SummerSlam is me. I'll see you two there. Alright ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, the huge matches booked for SummerSlam. Ryan Rachel defend his WWE Championship against Randy Orton one more time in a normal match, but if Orton loses, he can never use the RKO again. Rage feeling like people is referring to his TKO as a lucky RKO and he's sick of it. So Orton has agreed to put his RKO on the line and also Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns will get Seth Rollins in an equal playing field in a tornado tag match. Triple H will be Seth Rollins' partner and don't forget Paragon J. Pierce will also face Edge for the Intercontinental Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you all next time.